Hello, pets, bitches, and losers. How was everybody's holiday weekend? I didn't really uh, do much of anything. I just chilled. I just chilled. Okay, motherfucker, are you in my way? I am not going to be able to get around you. Uh, dude. Come on. Why have people got to be this way? Alright, fine. I think he's moving. Sorry about that. Anywho. Um, yeah, I didn't do much. Did not do much. Cleaned the house. Just chilled out. Enjoyed my time off. Although I already have Mondays off, so it's not like I get an extra day or anything like that. Anywho, um, <laughs> this has happened to me twice so far on Twitter. I find it really funny. I don't have my sunglasses, so excuse me if I uh, squint a lot. I left them. Um, so it's weird. Uh, a so-called dom drops into my uh, DMs and is like, I'll give you X amount of money. Come be my kitty or, you know, my, uh, I, I'm, I'm building a, a kitty dom, a kitty dom. Yeah, I swear to God. Um, I'm like, what the fuck? And it's always like a stupid amount of money. I mean, stupid amount as far as like, you know, oh, I'm not going to give you $100. I'm going to give you, you know, $5,000. It's like, bitch, please. You know, such a fucking scammy thing. I, I, I don't know if anybody out there knows what this fucking scam is. Please let me know because I'm sorry. It's just fucking ridiculous. So, you know. Most likely, it's probably not even chicks that are saying this to you. Because when you go to the when you go to the page of these people, it's like a um, picture of a girl, and maybe there's a verification video. I don't know. But then it's just like a porn site where it's just like all these chicks and shit, like, doing all kinds of porno we shit, um, which I don't care, but it's just, it's weird. Thank you. It's just a very, very weird thing, but, um, <laughs> yeah, the first one that sent, sent it into my DMs, uh, she slunk off very well. The second one was like, she was saucy. I will tell you that. That bitch was saucy. <laughs> but anywho, um, somebody else, uh, if you ever, um, wanna, I'm, I'm like bouncing all over the place. If you ever want to ask me a question, but on the down low without me totally even knowing who you are, you can always go to my curious cat. The um, link is somewhere within my uh, timeline. I've, you know, I've, uh, I'll retweet that today or something. Uh, but you can always ask me a private question there, I won't know who the hell you are at all, unless you make it known. But, um, somebody sent me a question yesterday that was like, why do you hate men? Um, I don't hate men at all. I actually fucking love men. Men are awesome. Uh, I don't hate any gender. I might not particularly like a person. Uh, do I hate anybody? Eh, maybe one or two people to where like, you know, if they dropped off the face of the earth, I would be like, pass me the salt. Okay. Bye. Um, but no, I don't hate anybody. 
I do get extremely frustrated when um, men just do stupid shit. Do women do stupid shit? Absolutely. Have I done stupid shit? Absolutely. Will I probably do more stupid shit as life goes on? Absolutely. But here's the thing. If you notice, when I bitch about men, the majority of it is always to do with FinDom or BDSM or whatever. And what is it about? It is about not approaching correctly. That's what it's about. Especially when you make it so fucking clear it's just like, yeah, you're a stupid fuck. So, yeah. Yeah. You're either a stupid fuck or you have absolutely no respect. Either or, I have no fucking time for you. Plain and fucking simple. I don't know. I hate my makeup today, just FYI. Mm. Hate it. So, yeah. No. I think men are rad. It's very rare for me to find a man, though, that I consider, like, my equal. Though, especially as of late. Oh, look, I did my roots. Don't they look good? Yeah. Yes. Yes, bitch. Yes. I'm a natural redhead. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I don't hate men. Um, sorry if I come off that way. Actually, I would like to say I am very, very, very grateful for all of you that do approach me correctly, do tribute, do do the work that I ask of you. And yeah, I know sometimes I'm just like sitting there, um, you know, just bitching and I don't want to bitch. I want to say I do appreciate you and I thank you. Now, some people might say, oh, that makes you a weak dom because you thank people. Um, okay. That's the one thing that does not make me weak because I can't thank people. I can thank people. I can say I'm sorry. And I can admit when I'm wrong. That is a good character trait. Yes, it is. And life is so much easier. And guess what? When you show your subs appreciation, guess what? They appreciate you more. So, you know, I, I, I have had, um, you know, when I was doing um, real life sessions, um, I did have a sub that was, he did not want to be coddled or thanked or petted or anything it, He like that. He wanted complete fucking humiliation, degradation. Like he just wanted for me to make him feel like the biggest piece of shit in the world. Now, that was during session. Outside of session, actually, we used to have really fucking awesome conversations. He's a rad-ass dude. I wish I could find him again. Um, yeah. I miss LA. <laughs> I miss my pets in LA. <sighs> so, anywho, pouty. So yeah. He wanted all that all the time. And but even in real life he didn't want me to be like, you're such a great sub. He just that was his kink. That was his thing. He was actually the very first guy I kicked in the balls. Yeah. Very first one. Yeah. That was scary. I'm not going to lie. You know, you got to do it just right. 
remember him telling me that the next session uh, he wanted to do that and I was like what and oh my god I had to go to so many people and be like okay exactly how should I do this and blah 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 and uh, yeah you know, that's why people ask Ask for advice, ask questions, ask how to, because you can fucking rupture a nutsack and that's not cute. You don't want to send their ass to the fucking emergency room. No, 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 no matter how bad they want certain shit, you got to draw a fucking line. Even if their fucking safe word does not come out, you got to draw that line. And if you don't feel comfortable doing it, then don't fucking do it. And I will tell you something. You know, don't fucking just be like, okay, learn, learn, bitch, learn. If you really want to be a dom, just, just learn, learn. People do mentorships and shit like that. They do. So yeah, he was my first doing that. I do have to say, he could take a kick. Some of you motherfuckers are no joke. So, yeah, he was one that just didn't, didn't want to be praised at all. I'm not quite sure. You know, I always think like the psychological aspect of shit and I'm like, hmm, what is that about? He was really successful at the job he did. He worked in the movie industry. Um, yeah. And, uh. I don't know. I think maybe the stigma of always having to be a certain way, and especially in the movie industry, you have to be such a fucking narcissist to, like, navigate your way through shit because everybody wants to be in it. And, yeah. And I don't think it's a bad thing that some people are, you know, being a narcissist. It just depends on what you're willing to do and who you're willing to fuck over or fuck to get to where you want to get. So I think just being able every now and then to like be able to release that and just be like, I'm a fucking loser. There's nothing good about me. When 24 seven, most of the time you have to sell that you're the best thing since sliced bread. So yeah, I think that's a big thing. Sometimes it's, uh, you know, I see, I see subs be like, um, I see subs and doms talk on Twitter being like, not all subs are losers or they don't want to be called a loser. And a sub's like, I don't want to be called a loser. Um, I don't start fucking calling you loser until I've kind of established that that's your kink. That's kind of what you want. Will I put it out there on a tweet? in just general yeah okay yeah so um just because you call somebody a loser it's more about they want that so yeah I couldn't have a stable of fucking loser subs god that would just be draining as a motherfucker so yeah I do like having some because if I get in a mood, then I can fucking unleash like a motherfucker. And yeah. So anywho, there was something else that I was thinking about and it totally just spaced my head. Getting older sucks with that shit. So... fine. I didn't go riding. I need to go ride. I'm hoping this Sunday there'll be a ride. I don't know what's up with the group I usually ride with. I feel like a lot of them haven't been in town or something like that. So, I don't know. I don't know. But I need to get on my motorcycle. So, for any of you that are in the hurricane, you know, Dorian path, don't be stupid. Evacuate, please. Your mistress is telling you, get the fuck out. I went through 
a pretty hardcore um, hurricane, Hurricane Hugo. I was in Myrtle Beach and lived like right on the intercoastal and my roommate's parents lived in Charleston and the, uh, I mean, when I say right on the intercoastal, our back door opened up to the intercoastal uh, waterway. So our, um, yeah, so her parents were in Charleston and it wasn't supposed to hit Charleston dead on. So we were like, okay, pack up the shit. That really means a lot to us. Get our animals and we're gonna go down to Charleston and bunk her down with her parents. If any of you even know about Hugo, it fucking hit Charleston dead fucking on. Long story short, thank God her parents lived in, you know, away from the beach. Three days without power, couldn't fucking leave, couldn't go home, no water, no power, no fucking nothing. The house literally right next door fucking imploded. It was the craziest shit I'd ever seen. Uh, it was nuts. Yeah, and then when we're finally able to go back home, we drive home, and when we get there, we had some neighbors that stayed, and they were like, yeah, the worst damage we had was a, a, a foot of water in the parking lot, and we didn't lose power or anything. So, yeah. But anywho, that's not me to say, yeah, just ride it out, because trust me, I wish we would have just ridden it out fucking farther inland and not been stupid and just stayed on the coast. So, yeah, it wasn't cute. It was not cute. Hurricanes, and I think kind of, even if your house and shit doesn't get damaged or whatever, uh, you still got to deal with, out, with power, power outages and shit like that, and that shit ain't fun. So, just be safe, people, okay? Leave. Just leave. I know people are like, I wrote this out before. Um, you know, people say that a lot. And there's always people dying. And I don't want to see that happen to anybody. So, yeah, get the fuck out. Hasta la vista, baby. So, what are you guys going to do this week to serve your queens, mistresses, doms? princesses. What are you going to do? Think of one thing. Think of one gesture that would put a smile on her face. It could be sending for coffee. It could be buy a gift card. It could be, I don't know, just something. Just think about that think about it. I'm not going to give you all the answers. Think about that. And if anybody has a good answer, put it in the comments. So anyhow, I'm almost at work. I am sure I will remember that fucking thing I was going to say. I don't know. So everybody have an awesome day. I will, uh, I will record again. Mañana. Tribute.